the patient gets up to some extracurricular activities when his wife's back is turned in doctors in half an hour. Now the big day was a hot mess and it's time to face the music in Shortland Street. Rachel was driving drunk. Rachel killed Morgan. She even got nabbed by a speed camera to prove it. We were just hoping to get a copy of the speed camera photo for our records. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honour and respect you. Wait! Karen killed Morgan. I have the proof. Mitchell, we need to talk to you about the death of Morgan Braithwaite. Whatever she's saying, she's lying. This is ridiculous. You know who committed the offence. It wasn't Rachel. This is a speed camera photo taken around the time and place of the hit and run. I mean, have a look. This could be anyone. Seriously, look at it. It's Karen. Let me see. <sighs> Rachel woke up wearing heels that she knew she couldn't drive in. That's because she wasn't driving. I mean, Kieran placed her behind the wheel. There is your proof. That doesn't prove Kieran's the driver. Rachel doesn't smoke, but there was a cigarette dropped on the floor underneath the driver's seat. Next day, Kieran comes to me, saying he has to search the car for some catering contracts he claimed he left in there. Contracts Rachel knew nothing about. So she forgot. She had a blackout. We all know why. Why did Kieran visit Rachel in hospital? He had reason to hate her over work contracts, but there he was. Guilt. He respects her. Worthy opponent and all that. Plus, I caught him trying to steal the speeding ticket from my office. Did you think you could just pay it and we'd all forget? Stop it! How dare you? Tell her. It's me in the photo. I was driving. That's not true. It's me in that photo. I'm the one that killed Morgan. Is he under arrest? He's assisting us with our inquiries. I want to come with him. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Come on. We'll go home and we'll go to the police station, OK? I'll sort this, I promise. What a mess. <sighs> so Sophie. You nasty, jealous troll! How could you? I am sorry, Soph, truly. But he did it. He even admitted it. He's protecting his brother like he always does! Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Disgusting man. As for you, too drunk to know whether you are driving or sleeping. They say alcoholism's an illness, but if you ask me, it's just no, a no. question of... With respect? Shut up. You OK? They'll be dropping the charges against you. You didn't do it. Yeah, but who did? Who's lying? Is Karen covering for Sid or is Sid covering for Karen? Nicole, are you OK? I'm sorry. You didn't know. I know I was dead. Were you driving the vehicle that killed Morgan Braithwaite? Yes. You and not your brother? Correct. So take me through what happened that night. You were working at the staff Christmas party. Uh, Sid and I argued. That cost Kieran a lot of money, and he wanted it back. He threatened to wreck my business to get it. I was so angry. I wanted to burn down his bar, make him know what it felt like to lose everything. I shot outside, but then I realised Kieran had the keys from getting stuff from the boot. I ran after him, but I couldn't stop him. My car was blocked in. Then I saw Rachel passed out in hers. The keys were right there. In the ignition. So what did you do? I pushed her over, hopped in. I knew Kieran had come after me, so I went pedal to the metal, hence getting sprung by the speed camera. So you were racing along on a mission to save your business. I, I was trying to light a cigarette. And I veered onto the wrong side of the road. I was distracted for a few minutes and I went onto the verge. There was this thump. I'll never forget that sound. She stopped the car. 
got out and went to see what I'd hit. She was dead. And then? Panic. The thought of Sophie finding out what I'd done. I pulled Rachel into the driver's seat, and strapped her in, and took off on foot. Where to? Oh, a taxi rank. There's some shops. I got in a cab. Which company? No idea. The driver? I, I, I don't know, some foreign guy. Indian, I think. Um, that's all I can remember. He dropped me off at the bar. Well, how did you pay? Cash. He took you straight to the bar? I went in, threw some booze around. He started a fire, and if, if the place had gone up... Uh, but luckily the noise woke Sophie and she came downstairs. I freaked. I mean, I didn't know she was there. She could have been killed. I grabbed the fire extinguisher, put the fire out, just as Kieran showed up. No one thought to call the police. There was no real harm done. And he's my brother. I'm his brother. Now you're pretty calm for someone who just admitted killing a woman and framing someone else for the crime. And Sid, he's lying, is he? Yes, he is. He's trying to protect me, the idiot. So tell me, why is Kieran taking the rap for you? Family loyalty. He cleans up when I stuff up, always. But I'm not going to let him, not this time. I swear, everything that happened that night, it was my fault. Why aren't you at the wedding reception? The wedding didn't happen. Libby turned up with the police and a speed camera photo that proved that Rachel wasn't driving her car when Morgan was killed. She accused Kieran. It wasn't him. Yeah, but it was one of the Mitchell brothers, that much is clear. Confusingly, they have both confessed. They're down at the police station now. Kieran said that he killed Morgan. I have to get out of this and get down there. I will come with you. Do you think he did? <sighs> I think he's protecting Sid. Why not the other way? Well, it can't be. Why, Dad? Because Kieran's reformed. Come on, the guy's terminally bent. Always was, always will be. Well, he's convinced me that his past is staying there, and Sophie is adamant that he couldn't hurt a fly. You don't believe that? Son, I have to. It was definitely one of them driving that car. The photo proves it. I was so sure it was Kieran. I didn't even think about Sid. The thing is, they were both so quick to confess. They must have both known that it wasn't Rachel. And there's her believing it, carrying all that awful, terrible guilt. And they deliberately let her suffer. They deliberately let everyone treat her like dirt. Ugh, an innocent woman, how could they do that? They are brothers. I guess they were trying to protect each other. I thought I knew Karen. I thought he was my friend. I thought... Poor darling Morgan. You can... cry if you want to. It's OK. The hell it is. When can I see Kieran? Oh, not just yet, Sophie. <sighs> Getting back to the night of the Christmas party. Now, you were sleeping above the bar when you heard glass smashing? I went downstairs. Sid had started a fire and we were putting it out when Kieran arrived. Well, arson's a serious offence. Why didn't you report it? Because Kieran begged me not to. Why? Brotherly love, he'd call it. Mainly because he feels sorry for Sid. Sorry that he's done nothing but stuff up his whole life. So Kieran's protected him in the past? Sid tries one stupid scam after another. Kieran has to bail him out. You don't really think that Kieran killed Morgan, do you? Well, your fiance is hardly a saint. Gang associations, drug connections, illegal raves, money laundering, escorts. But that's all in the past. I know Kieran. He isn't capable of killing Morgan or framing Rachel. He's just not that sort of person. I haven't always approved of Kieran, but Sophie's devotion and his determination to do the right thing by her finally convinced me. Kieran's a changed man. I've seen no evidence of that. Well, how's this? Uh, recently, Sid put in a tender for leasing cars to the hospital. I thought the deal was good and I signed off on it, but uh, Kieran found out the cars were dodgy and uh, made sure his brother cancelled the deal. So what did you think when Kieran put his hand up for killing Morgan? I was shocked, like everyone else. Did you think he did it? When Sid spoke up, I realised the most likely scenario, once again, was that Kieran was covering for his brother's idiocy. I have to agree, Sid's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. No. 
Kieran, on the other hand, strikes me as intelligent. I think he is, very. So, family loyalty aside, why would a smart cookie like Kieran put his hand up for a serious crime his idiot brother committed right on his wedding day? Exactly. I'm surrounded by dimwits. All my life, stupid people and stupid things. My son marrying that woman. Now Sophie with this murderer. Mona. Rest. Well, stay a moment, would you? Talk to me. Why? Have you run out of steam? Well, one thing I'll say for you, Missy, you've got spirit. Which is more than I can say for my son. Your son stuck up for me when no one else had the compassion or guts to even look me in the eye. Well, why should they? For all they knew, you were a hit-and-run killer, a drunk. Why shouldn't they feel contempt? Has he tried to bed you yet? No. Mona? <laughs> you see what I mean? No spirit. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to sort out this mess with Sophie. I hope they put both those boys in jail. One of them is innocent and protecting the other. Which is also a crime. Why aren't you down at the station howling for a hanging? Maybe later. I suppose you're just relieved to be off the hook. You were quite willing to be locked up for it, though, weren't you? I thought I'd killed somebody. And now you're free. You've got your future back. I suppose you have to find a new job. I guess. And a new place to live. Oh, don't worry. I won't be staying on at Callum's. Oh, you're not suited the pair of you. Did it end badly? New home and a new life. Somebody pinched me. What are you doing here of all places? And another one for my friend, thanks. I used to come here with Morgan. We had some good times. And some not so good. Still makes me think of her. I remember how I was when she died, when I thought it was Rachel. I went to a very dark place. Well, you know, you saw me. And it's not that I don't want to kill a punished. But listening to Gerald back there, I realised I can't go there again. I can't... I can't make it about me. Because if I do, I'll ruin everything. The peace of mind I've got, what I have with you, I don't think Morgan would want that. I know she wouldn't. <laughs> But it's going to be hard standing back while Sid and Karen carry on like they are. But it won't be for long. The truth will come out. It always does, right? I think so. So I'll wait. And if it turns out that Karen was driving that night, well, I'll never come here again. But until then, Mr. Morgan. In my experience, people who cause the death of an innocent young woman feel some remorse. And you think I don't? Morgan was... She was lovely. In my dreams, I'd marry a girl like her. Have kids. The works. I'd stop screwing up. And get a straight job. Be a good husband and dad. And I'm directly responsible for her death. Do you know how that makes me feel? No. Why don't you tell me? Like something you scrape off your boots after a walk in the park. Why did you attack Rachel McKenna's courtesy car? I ran Morgan down in that thing. I went crazy with guilt, smashed the bonnet in. If you took Rachel's car, had the accident, ran off to find a taxi, then went to the bar, how was it Kieran arrived after you did? I mean, according to your story, he drove straight there. One, I was doing serious speed. Two, I ran to get a taxi and luckily there was one there. And three, Kieran must have got held up at the Christmas party. Good news. We found the taxi driver. Excellent. Give him my regards. Chris? Sorry, I, I was just thinking how Rachel must be feeling. Do you want to go and see her? No, I'm sure Callum is looking after her. Here's the star of the show. Gutsy stuff, Flip. Breaking up a wedding. I suppose you couldn't let Sophie marry someone that you thought was a killer, could you? I did think Karen was a killer. I was so sure. But you're not anymore. 
Has there been news? I rang Callum. He's at the police station and no one's been charged yet. Oh, so chances are it wasn't Kieran. Well, if that's so, then you've ruined Sophie's dream wedding for absolutely nothing. Right, that's us. So what now? Oh, you're free to go. What? The way Sid's lying, he didn't do it. What's wrong with you? I've given you all the facts. Why can't you see that I'm responsible? Your facts don't stack up. The taxi driver doesn't remember your mug, and the timing's all wrong. Look, it's not plausible you reached the bar so soon after Sid, not considering the accident and having to find a taxi. It happened exactly the way I said it did. We may have some further questions. Don't leave town. Wait. Sid didn't do it, I did. Why are you trying to take the rap for Sid? Now, you're about to be married to a lovely young woman. You've got your whole life in front of you. I can't go on living a lie. Switch off the light when you're done. Kieran. Yeah, they let him go. Oh, good. He's on his way home. I have to go around So them. I'm assuming that means they've arrested Sid. I suppose. Kieran didn't say. OK, do you want me to drive you? Thank you, but I think I need some alone time with him. OK. Uh, so, make sure you eat something. Hey, they let Kieran go. So it was said. Mm, I assume so. Hot chocolate? Yeah, okay. thank you. How does it feel? You must be relieved. You don't have to face court or jail. I still can't believe it's real. And then I remember that speed camera photo and... I didn't do it. Oh, hang on, just a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I haven't got any tissues. There you go. Why don't you give up on me? I was so hideous to you at work, and you're the only one to stick by me. Why were you so quick to accept fate? Think you were going to go to jail? Well, what else could I do? Ditto. I was a mess. I was over the limit when I drove to that party, probably still over the limit when I drove home. It was so easy to believe I killed Morgan because I could have. But you didn't. You've stopped drinking and you're getting the help you need. Mona was wrong. About what? A lot of things. They figured out which brother did it, yeah? No. But as far as I'm concerned, Kieran and Sid are as bad as each other. One of them killed Morgan, and the other one's trying to cover it up for him. Why either would want to take the rap for a fatal hit and run has got me beat. Family loyalty doesn't seem enough of a reason. Sid's psycho. Kieran's bound to have a plan. He always does. How's Sophie holding up? Last I saw, not well. This was always going to happen. This was something like it. I hope you've been kind to your sister. No nasty mean I told you so. I'll try. You know the weird thing? Dad's standing up for Kieran. Seriously. Like he went down to the cop shop and told them, no, my prospective son-in-law is a thoroughly decent young chap. Oh, he's trying to do right by Sophie. Doing right by Sophie would be lynching Kieran. Don't be too judgmental. Just stick with your sister. She needs you. Why did you tell the police you did it? It was our wedding day. I mean, I know that you have this loyalty thing with Sid, but confessing to killing Morgan? I confess because on the night. Hey, kids. It's Uncle Sid. They didn't arrest you. Don't worry, darling. I'll be back in custody in no time. He has to stop. Everything's fine, all right? How can you be like this? Be cheerful. You killed someone. Yeah. You're right, I did. No, don't say it. Why, well, we all know it's true. We need to get this sorted. Sorted? You killed Morgan and told a pack of lies? Rachel nearly killed herself from guilt. You're disgusting. Hey, less of the lip. You ruined our wedding day. You almost got Kieran locked up. How can you live with yourself? I can't. That's why I need Kieran to tell the cops I did it. I won't do that. You have to. You have to tell the truth. I know. If you just listened, 
the night of the accident, it was it was me. Here we go. Get a grip, shut brother. Shut up! Just shut up! What the hell did you do that for? I said less of the lip. Next time, think before you speak to me. No one hurt Sophie. No, oh, I had to. I had to get rid of her. Listen to me. Listen to me. You gonna calm down now? What the hell do you hear for? Because now she go running back to Daddy. He'll call the plots, and they'll come and get me. I'll be charged with assault. It's a good start. He's crazy. I've never thought more clearly. You were the one who was driving the car that killed Morgan. Yes. But it was my fault you were in it. It's always my fault. I'm the one who deserves to cop it. And you've got every reason to stay free. Every reason. So please, just this once, let me be the one that saves you. We've done for years. I can't let you. It's not going to happen. Yes, it will if I lie and say it was you. Do you really think I could do that? Yeah. Won't you hear me out? I've got a plan. It's my best, yeah. What happened? He hit me. Kieran? No, he said I was trying to talk to Kieran and said kept interrupting, so I told him to shut up. Where are you going? Who do you think? Hunter, we do this properly, together. Get the car ready. That is the man who assaulted my daughter. Yes, yeah, true. Sorry, Soph. Sometimes you have to do a bad thing in order to do a good thing. You filthy piece of scum. All yours, guys. In fact, you get two for one. My brother's got something to tell you. Well? Tell him. I lied earlier. I said I was driving the car that killed Morgan Braithwaite. That's not true. So who was the driver? My brother. Why? Why lie in the first place? Because I love him. Sydney Mitchell, I'm arresting you for an assault on Sophie Mackay and the manslaughter of Morgan Braithwaite. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be used against you in a court of wait, law. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, OK? Get off me a bit, Puff. Let's go, guys. An Irish couple travel to India tonight to meet a woman who will give birth to their child. Her body, Our Babies, follows a complex and emotional story at 9.35. Next, dodgy dealings in today's Doctors.